to Persona 4 Arena! Assuming you've mastered the basic controls and skills, I, Mitsuru Kirija, will teach you advanced techniques. First, air recovery. When you're launched in the air or knocked away, hold down any one of the A, B, C, or D buttons to recover your stance when you land again. If you don't recover while in the air, you'll be defenseless for a while. Keen opponents won't let that opening pass them by. They'll follow through and attack while you're down. When knocked off your feet, always remember to recover before you land. Of course, it's best to block attacks so they don't hit you in the first place. There are two types of blocking. A standing block lets you block high and mid attacks like jumping strikes and all-out attacks. Press the opposite direction as your opponent to perform a standing block. A crouching block defends against low attacks, such as sweeps. Press diagonally down and away from your opponent. Each block is vulnerable to some attacks. You must adapt to the opponent's assaults. Attempts to throw you can be thwarted with the throw escape. Press the C and D buttons together when you are about to be thrown and you'll be able to escape the throw. The evasive action is also useful. While standing, press the A and C buttons together for an evasive action, where you advance and dodge the opponent's attacks. Use this at close range to quickly dash behind your opponent. Press the A and C buttons at the same time while crouching to perform a hop with a lower arc than a normal jump. You can also press the A and B buttons at the same time while crouching to sweep the opponent off their feet. If you're hit with a status ailment, you'll be at a disadvantage, so be careful. Ailments include poison, which drains your HP. Panic that reverses your movements. Rage, which prevents you from blocking. And charm, which slowly drains your SP. Shock is especially dangerous, since it will prevent you from moving. Several opponents, such as Akihiko, can inflict this ailment. Be on guard. You recover from ailments by attacking the opponent or by letting some time pass. Remember each ailment's effect. Stay calm when affected. Keep a cool head and a steady hand when entering commands for skills. Use a continuous motion from down to either forward or backward, then press a button. Even if you don't press the button immediately after the directional input, it'll still come out. There's no need to be hasty. Lastly, I'll teach you how to use the skill boost. A skill boost is when you press a specific combination of two buttons to activate a skill, making the skill more effective. However, each skill boost costs 25 SP, so it can't be overused. I recommend using it when you wish to rush your opponent. Mastery of these advanced techniques will ensure you get the most out of playing the game. There's no need to hurry, though. Taking them one at a time, thoroughly mastering each one is the key to victory. I look forward to fighting against you when you reach that level.